So check this tech fans. Now we all knew that this probably should have happened a long, long time ago. And maybe I should have made this video a little earlier, but I decided to really wait and let all the water settle and make sure that there was gonna be no BS whatsoever in what's going on. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today was actually something viable and happening. So what am I talking about? Okay, NVIDIA will now actually support free sync through their drivers and through their cards. That's right, amazing as it may sound, you can now use a free sync monitor with an NVIDIA card. Because we all know, let's just face it, man, G-Sync monitors are expensive. It takes big bucks. I'll admit, I was pretty stoked when Acer sent us their Predator X27 because that's like the top of the line G-Sync Ultimate Monitor out right now. It's got HDR, all the bells and whistles. We brought you guys a review it before. You guys all said, wow, all right, that thing's $2,000. You can stick it where the sun don't shine. And honestly, hey, I don't blame you. If I had to buy this monitor myself, there'd be absolutely no way that I could afford it out of my meager budget that I make from YouTube. Luckily, though, I have good relationships with a lot of companies, so they'll kick me down some of this stuff to review for your guys. But with that said, it does seem, though, like it is a fact. Jensen kind of announced it. I don't know. I don't really agree with some of the tactics of that because, like, they were just like showing like you know really bad examples. I thought of what could go on with the free sync, but it is now happening. Since there are many people out there who have FreeSync monitors, and I am talking about version one of FreeSync monitors, FreeSync 2 monitors will not work because FreeSync 2 monitors are more kind of like G-Sync monitors. It's hardware to hardware instead of software to hardware. So it's a different you know thing altogether. So the monitors that are FreeSync 2 will not work. They're not supported because like I said, that's direct. But for many people out there who own FreeSync monitors, there is a good chance that your monitor will work with an NVIDIA card. Now, currently there's gonna be four different levels that you're going to be getting with this technology that they're calling G-Sync. The one at the top is called G-Sync Ultimate or G-Sync with HDR. It's, you know, the top of the line monitors like Acer Predator, Asus has some. These are all their very top of the line, most expensive, most wallet breaking monitors on the planet. Then next up, they have what's called standard G-Sync monitors. You know, there's a lot of monitors out there that are just standard G-Sync. These, you know, is the next tier. So you got the very top, this one, the next one. And then you have under this one what they call G-Sync compatible monitors. There's a whole bunch of these out there on the market as well. And then they have at the end what they really call, we'll go ahead and enable it and hopefully it will frickin' run. And that's really how it, how, it was, how it was announced, you know. Um, the bottom line though here is currently there are 12 monitors out there that have been tested and guaranteed to work using an NVIDIA card with a free sync monitor. We'll have some links to those down below. So if you guys want to get one of those for yourself or check that out, you guys can do that for yourselves. Now, one thing I'd like to do though, there are probably lots of people out there in my audience that actually have an NVIDIA card and a free sync monitor. So what I would really like you guys to do is this. I'm gonna go ahead and create a little poll that you guys can answer some questions on, but I'd like to see your comment here. I would like to know is does your monitor work with the NVIDIA card. So if you have a free sync monitor, I want you to go in, enable the feature and see if it works because basically NVIDIA said, well, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't work. We can't guarantee if it'll work, you know, but hey, maybe it will work. Arr. Not too you know, great of a target there. It's like, you know, uh, Cupid shooting and just flying around going nowhere. I don't know, but we do know that there are these 12. Now there are probably five or 600 free sync monitors out there on the market. And what it tends to be so far is that the later versions of free sync monitors and the ones that were higher end all seem to be working without problem. The ones that are lower end or older models, those ones don't seem to be working very well whatsoever. So chances are that if you've purchased your FreeSync monitor and it's not really that old, there's a good chance that if you have an NVIDIA card, it's going to work. Now this does make perfect sense because like I said at the beginning of the video, 
Uh, NVIDIA with the G-Sync stuff, yeah, I mean, hey, it is killer, I'll give you that, but it's very, very expensive to get into, especially if you want to have the bets. Let's face it, you know, a card's going to cost you, what, 2080 tag, it's going to cost you 1314 bucks. Top of the line monitor, you're talking $2,000. You're talking about $3,500. Honestly, that's like some people's like first car or like a serious down payment on a car or even a junkie car, but still... $3,500 is a lot of money just to be jumping into that technology. And we're talking about just the monitor and the video card here. We're not even talking about the rest of your system or anything like that. So that's some pretty crazy stuff. So if you guys would do me a favor, I'd really appreciate it. You guys have at home an NVIDIA card and you have a free sync monitor, test it. If everything works, please leave your model number down below and let people know that it works. That way people can come here and they can check it out, look at the comments section and go, hey, you know what, I have that monitor. Um, I don't have to go out and buy one, mine should work. And that should actually help a lot of people with their buying decisions now, because if you've had an NVIDIA card all this time and you've really wanted to have a monitor that, that could work, you know, in conjunction with it, with all that, you know, nice, no frame ripping and all that locked up frames, everything just looks beautiful. You wanna have that technology and not being able to do that and having to spend a fortune you know, to get a full G-Sync monitor is just insane. So if you have a, you know, a really good free sync monitor, you should be in the end right now. And I want to know, and I'm sure there's lots of other people out there who want to know this information as well. So if you're wondering, hey, Eric, well, how do we do this? Well, it's pretty much just as simple as installing the latest driver, going into the control panel, and just making sure that you enable G-Sync technology. And so it's either going to work or it won't work. Hopefully though, with the monitor that you have, it will work because I wanna hear more success stories because that will be absolutely great. To be able to hear from lots of people and say, hey, it was really awesome, man, I had this monitor, I've never been able to use a technology, and today I installed the latest driver, and woo, all right, man, my monitor is working. So, you guys have been watching Tech Tomorrow? It's actually here. NVIDIA has come down from their pedestal and they now allow FreeSync on their video card, which I think is actually a really smart idea because a lot of consumers own FreeSync monitors. I'm Elric, you guys have been watching Tech Tomorrow. We will have links down below. So if you guys wanna check out one of these monitors and get one for yourself, you can do so. Peace. We'll see you guys back on here for more Tech of Tomorrow. And if you're not subbed, hey, make sure you are subbed. We'll also have links to my music. So if you wanna download the Benchmark song or anything else, we'll have links to that as well. Peace.